I finally found this right here. It's the Mafex, uh, the Dark Knight Returns, number 106. So I got this roughly about 530 Hong Kong bucks. Uh, you're looking roughly about 70, about a little over 70 US dollars. So you guys will see the review here very soon. What's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Stan coming back at you with another review. And this time, I'm gonna bring you the Dark Knight Returns version from the company called Medicom Mafex. That is right, guys. I've never purchased a Mafex figure, so this is gonna be the first one. And I'm totally stoked about it because I definitely like the Batman series. I've watched pretty much all of the films, not just the live action movies, but I've watched a lot of the anime, the Japanese animations, and of course the Warner Bros. animations. I've seen a lot. Uh, not maybe every single one, but a lot, good, a good many of them. And this right here is the version made from the animation with you know what happens Bruce Wayne is already way aged and so is Superman but then Bruce Wayne here gets a kick Superman behind and not to mention this is also the version where Bruce Wayne gets his sidekick the other Robin the female Robin We all remember that from the animation, right? It, well, guys, I'll tell you what. From this box art, I can tell you MAFX has done a really good job to show and display really how well that this figure looks. Just by looking at the box back and looking at the sides, it does show a good representation of what you guys are looking forward to getting when you open this box up. But without further ado, I'm gonna go and do the unbox and let's check it out right now. Taking him out of the packaging, this is exactly how he's going to look. First off, we can see he's already got some batarangs. He's got a roughly about eight of them. Now he's got a pair of open palm hands. He's got another pair of open palm hands. And here we have another pair of hands that are almost like clunch, clinch fist, almost, so that he can actually grasp onto the batarangs. And then he's got pretty much a knuckle, or you say clinch fist right there for just punching baddies. Now looking at his sculpt, you can see really good representation. We got, of course, a ball joint around the feet, around the boots, nice coloration. The gray and everything definitely goes with a comic book style. You can take a look at his bat belt right there. He also has a good hinge point around his chest, his abdomen area. It looks like he's got articulation there. We'll see soon. There's his original bat symbol right there for this animation. And he comes with two head sculpts. One worth showing Bruce Wayne's pearly white teeth, and the other one is just showing that non-grin serious look right there, ready to lay the smack down, for sure. And he's got this nice nylon type cape. Now, I think the cape really does definitely put a nice good touch to this figure. From the figure, the box itself, once you take him out in the background, you can actually see there's a very nice comic drawn artwork of Batman from this series right in the back. If you wanted to, you could probably dismantle this box and make this kind of like a cardboard display. But of course, for myself, I'll probably keep it as it is and keep him in the box after this review. But just to let you know, it does come with a nice animated art cartoon animated drawing in the back. And we also come with a separate action base right here. These action bases are simple, good enough for what it needs to be done just for doing some simple posing. But if you want any more like more complicated, like for him to like in flight mode or somewhat, you probably want to go for like an additional action base. Now let's take a look at its articulation. And I got to say, first off, amazing a job that MadFX does. Absolutely amazing job that it does with its articulation. I think for sure so far, um, you know, compared to just normal Hasbro, obviously, and even compared to some things like Hot Toys or whatnot, I really think that the MadFX have done a really good job on their sculpts and articulation because this guy is just incredibly poseable. This Batman is amazing. He can go for Wushu. <laughs> bat style you can take a look his knee joint and every part right here is just got so much articulation he can pretty much you know do this kind of like toe foot and he can rotate almost every single part 
pretty much every single part you can imagine in a very, you know, nice, stylish way. Everything right here, he's got even joints between the waist, he's got joints on the uh, on the shoulder, even the arm has got, well, he's got on the bicep, one swivel, right, he's got on the elbow joint and the knuckle joint right here, also on a swivel. I really gotta admit, and I must say, MathX does an excellent job with their figures as far as articulation goes. You can pretty much see, he can really just go into a full, wow, Van Damme sort of like up front and personal kick right there and not only that yes he can do the splits almost with any ease even though he's at the age of what <laughs> at the age of 50 that's pretty good or you could say coming close to 60 that's where grandpa bat right there just does an excellent job Oop, i think we just pulled off the joint but it's okay because it's easy to fix i just gotta just can't stress enough at how articulate MathX does with her jobs and their figures here. Not only that, this bat cape, check it out. It's got a wire mesh on the side. You can see right here, if you wanted to, you can fully spread out his cape. This is something I wish you know, a lot of other figures would do the same, but then again, I understand that you would probably add additional cost. But I think in the end, if you want to have really good, awesome, figure of articulation you definitely need to go the extra mile i mean just look at that that is just so it's so amazing and we're gonna go ahead and switch out his head so we're gonna give him the pearly white teeth and you guys can take a look as well there's the other head right there the other head sculpt we'll just go ahead and pop that on right there so that it looks like you know he's ready to be dashed down it just goes on really nicely right there and again the head rotation it does a really good job he can you know turn his head not let's say all well yeah pretty much he can go all the way around actually i mean of course you don't want to have him in that exorcist form but this guy is just i mean i am so glad i made this purchase on this mafx and i think in the future i'm gonna probably buy a bit more of the mafx figures when they come out because this really just blows me away not to mention his articulation he comes with so many other accessories from different you know styles of hands this is definitely for you guys who want to get the dark knight version especially this you know this comic book version of the um of the batman and you want to see him later on you know kick some superman butt this is definitely the figure to have because for sure he'll be kicking a lot of butt with his figure not only that his poses again are so awesome he can just keep every well look at that he can pretty much he can cover himself in his cape if he wants to you know have that bulletproof cape right there it's just you know just right there it's just he's dodging everything it's just like well everything you guys imagine in the comic books and the cartoons can be done with this cape was his pose this is just too cool i love the fact that they did you know an excellent job with the design on this and the articulation joints and not to mention the coloring and the detail it is just really it's really nice check it out wow that's almost like batman with ronnie coleman I wanna know. This is just like, well, Mr. Olympia version of Batman. Guys, please, guys, you get, you guys will love this figure. Uh, trust me, if you guys have already ordered it, if you all have it on the way, you're going to be so happy to get this figure because I was quite surprised. I was a bit iffy at first because, again, I, I'm pretty much a diehard fan of the of the Hot Toys figures, but I'm so glad now that I picked up one of my first MapX figures. Detailed look at the Batarangs. If I had to say there was one negative part, I would say that they could have actually put more detailing on the Batarangs. As you can see, it's just got a very simplistic design. It does, of course, resemble a little bit of a Batarang. However, I do think they could have put a little bit more detailing in it. It at least maybe put a bit more shade, a darker shade of it. I think the silver is a little bit too bright. Make it a little bit darker would be nice, especially since we know that this Batman definitely, you know, has aged. But of course, his weaponry is a bit more of the rust. No, I wouldn't say it's just a bit more of the darker side. Now, here we also have the open palm hands, and I think these are a nice addition. The feel and quality of these is really nice. It's just, again, it's just part of, it feels actually quite rubbery. It actually has a resemblance of a real Black Dark Knight glove, in my opinion. And again, here we have the head sculpt. This is the original head sculpt that you're going to see when you have your Dark Knight. So this is the one it comes with. You can see really good impression of what Bruce Wayne looks like when he's in this age. This is to show how articulate and how cool this is. Is what not better, better way to show everybody how Batman kicks like kicks literally kicks butt he's 
kicking Cybertronian butt. You can see Megatron has nothing against him. Even his Energon ball and chain can't take out this Batman because he's just so articulate. And look at that foot right in the face, right in the face, right in the face. Oh, look who showed up. That's right. It's Black Widow from the Marvel Legends series. Look at Brucey now. Look at Batman. Hey, remember that lesson from Iron Man 2 where Happy Hogan was trying to give a lesson to Black Widow? What did he say? Never take your eyes off your opponent. Rule number one, never take your eye off your opponent. Gosh, Batman, what have you done now? It doesn't make a difference how articulate you are. You should never mess around with the girls. Now we're going to have a show of capes. Here we have the Hot Toys 1 and 6 scale version of the Arkham Knights Batman. Of course, he's got more of the detail. He's got more of the nice metallic coating. However, if we look at the cape comparison, Check this out, everybody. The cape comparison. I really gotta say, the Mafex does a much better job with their cape than even the Hot Toys version. Because if you can see how everything is just nicely frailed and evenly displayed, this one right here, it does come with a wire mesh, but it's just not strong enough to hold that weight of this cape that this Batman has. So I definitely believe right now, wow, the Mafex has really done a good job for its six inch scale figure check it out everybody wow even if you want to compare posing when they're trying to like make that break the window from the top entrance look at that pose right there he's just smashing Megatron as so he already took Megatron out but if I try to do the same thing with the one and six scale hot toys he cannot even raise the cape the cape cannot actually stay up frailed it just comes right back down this cape is just totally awesome look at that cape go it's just so amazing how reliving the whole comic book action sequence all over again isn't that right Arkham Knight to show off just how articulated the splits can be we've got Master Ryu from the a Street Fighter version of the SHF figure arts. You can take a look at his uh, degree of split. That is as far as he's going. He's even shouting in pain. Look at that mouth gapping wide open. <laughs> But when we come to Mafex Batman, geez, look at that. That is almost, a, that's symmetrical, almost symmetrical. It is, well, it's pretty much symmetrical. Check it out. Look at that grin. He's just like, with that bat cape flared right open, this takes no effort whatsoever for this Batman to do the splits. I cannot believe it. He won hands down. And wait a second. Sorry, Megatron. You've been already beaten, so you don't count. Boom. Thanks for watching the review, everyone. I hope you all like it. Overall, my final verdict is this is absolutely one of the best figures for posability I have bought so far. And especially since it's my first Mezco, first Mezco type of figure, I never really dove into this line, period. I mean, again, like I said, mostly I do dove into Hot Toys because I just love the D details i love the size but i'm you know i'm changing my mind thoroughly now after playing or just posing with this uh batman dark knight version this is the first one i have and i am so glad i purchased it and i got to do a review on it because i would suggest this for you all who are dev definitely going to be a batman fan or if you are an action figure junkie whichever one's going to be this is definitely going to be one of the coolest figures you're going to love to have i mean the cape the the gauntlets the detailing all the coloration really resembles the original comic book character. This is where you can have, again, Batman just taking it out on Superman. And of course, unfortunately, I don't have a Superman figure yet. I hope I can pick up one of those Mezco figures so I can go ahead and have them clash at it. But again, if you all haven't picked this up yet or you haven't pre-ordered, I would suggest if you are in the market for this type of Batman, please, this is gonna be the best one up to date. This will be a hard one to beat. Really, I can see this is gonna be a hard one to beat. Everyone, if you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe and click that like button. Also, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know which other figures you want to see reviewed on this show. And I'm Mr. Stan, and I'll see you on the next video.